Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotuts.com. Today we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop CS5 to create an effect that looks like this. I like to call this the Nova effect. And as cool and complicated as it looks, it's actually pretty simple to make. So let's get started. The first thing I want to let you guys know is that I am using Photoshop CS5 to make this tutorial, but you could pretty much use any version of Photoshop that you want. So with that being said, let's click on File, New, and let's make a new image. Let's make the width 1200 pixels and the height 1024 pixels and press OK. Now let's click on Filter, Render, Clouds. And you should get something that looks like this. And let's click on Filter again. Now let's hover over Sketch and click on Graphic Pen. Now we're going to keep the settings, the default settings and press OK. Now you should get an effect that looks like this. Let's hover over Filter again and now let's go to blur radial blur and we want the amount to be a hundred the blur method at zoom and the quality at best and press OK and within a few seconds you should get an effect that looks something like this let's click on filter yet again and at the top you should see radial blur it should be the first thing click on that and within a few seconds you'll get an even stronger radial blur and now at this point you want to double click on your background layer Press OK, this is going to unlock your layer, then right click on it and click Duplicate Layer. Press OK, and now we have two of these images. Now on the top layer, click on Filter, and let's hover over Distort and click on Twirl. Uh, we want the angle to be set at 250 degrees and press OK. You should get something that looks like this. Now click on the bottom layer and go to Filter, Distort, uh, Twirl and we want the angle for this one to be negative 250 degrees so it spins the other way and press OK now let's click on the top layer and let's change the layer type uh, or the layer overlay to overlay the blending mode to overlay and then now we want to click on this half black and white circle down here and click on hue slash saturation and once you click on that you want to right click on the hue and saturation layer and click on create clipping mask now with this, let's mess with the color and choose any color you want. Click Colorize first, and now as you can see, it goes to red. Now we could pretty much choose any color we want. I'm going to choose a light blue color, just like that. And now I'm done with that. Now I'm going to click on the bottom layer, click on that half circle, the half black, half white circle again. Click on Hue and Saturation again. Once that opens up, I want to right click on the Hue and Saturation and click Create Clipping Mask. Now we could add two separate colors to both of the twirls, but what I like to do with the bottom layer is just to boost up the lightness. So I have a blue color and a really bright white color. And that just makes it look really cool. And that's pretty much it. I am done. This is our final effect, and you can just mess with the colors and see what you could come up with. That's it for this tutorial, and that's it for this video. This is Octotuts.com, and until next time, I will see you guys later.